For real though. For real though. For real stuff. For real though. For real though. Mm. Hey, y'all for real though. Ah, uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the For, for Real Though Podcast with your host Albert Can too and Davin Keeley. What's up? And look who's sitting across yeah, we from have, us. We have a celebrity guest I'm today. I'm so excited. We're live on TikTok as well right now because we wanted everyone to know that the podcast exists. Oh yeah, <laughs> that we're not doing this out of like a garage. <laughs> it's but for real. It is for it real. Is for though. real. I have to say, I'm so excited. We have the none other. The, I'm just telling you, like right now, you are like a staple for San Antonio. Oh, that's awesome. When it comes to uh, when it comes to talented R and B singers, I say R and B, but also jazz. Mm. You pretty much can do anything. Thank but you. she is the none other than Michelle Gotta Buy Carrie. Woo! Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Albert. Thank you, <laughs> I always have that one. <laughs> we always have that one clapper. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that we put in. I am so excited that you're here. Well, you're we... my number one dancer, though. I... Oh, oh, come on yeah. now, come on, somebody. Tell somebody. Tell, tell so... everybody. Tell, tell, tell your everybody. Friends. Yes. And of course, um, Michelle, I want I want just real quickly, if you don't mind, mm-hmm. um, just kind of tell people a little bit about who you are, and a little bit about your background because you've got a little bit of a history, a very historical background, and then yeah. and then get into and tell us what you do today. How exciting! All right. Well, I'm a uh, I've become a recording artist, but I'm a <gasps> musician, a singer. Uh, <laughs> Yes. I'm, the first in fact, thing. Woo. In fact, tomorrow I'm recording. I'm work currently um, recording an album right now. Really? Yeah. And oh. uh, then I released my solo album in 2020. Which oh, that's right. Yeah. You I were, remember that. You were there. I was the MC for that part, night. Part of my MC, uh, part of making the whole evening spectacular. Yeah, so, so much fun that day. And um, I've been a musician for, I, know, I have to say this, 35 years. <gasps> that's good, though. Yeah, so, it is good. Yeah, I've been singing. Experience. She's got experience, folks. She's not just, you know, <laughs> she's got the vocal chops to prove it too. Thank yeah. you. And yeah. I've had my own band, you know, which is, you know, as mm-hmm. y'all know, having your own business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, being a leader, having a band. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, personnel and taking care of clients is part of that. So I've been doing that all, all along. So. And your dad is is somebody that a lot of people know who that is as well, right? Yes, Your late father. The late Randy Garibay. Yes. My father. Um, Maybe see if I can find a song from him. Yeah, so I mean, we could put I, it on real quick. Do you know? I, old school. I brought a CD. Oh, oh no is way. that his CD? His, uh, oh, that's well, right. I mean, he recorded several, but this is his iconic Barbacoa Blue, Barbacoa oh, Blues CD. That is amazing. The Barbacoa Blues. Um, my dad also coined the phrase puro pinche. His, his, <laughs> his, yeah. Did he I really? say that all the time? He, yes. <laughs> <laughs> his, oh, hold on, wait. His t shirts and his bumper stickers and logo said Puro Pinche Blues. Oh, yeah. So, my father uh, is a legendary Randy Garibay. And Here we go. Look, we got a little something. Okay, great. Hold on. Oh, if y'all remember, this is her dad right here. Come on. I went down the little. Yes. Ow! Looking for some barbacoa and big red. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Sing it, sing oh, it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. I My love pops. it. So that's what I'm saying. Like you come from this, you know, you come from this rich background of, of like obviously he's musical. Your uncle, My uncle sings as well. I mean, uh, so both sides of my family actually. Really, the, okay. my mother's side, my uncle Ralph Cortez just opened his own dance club. And oh, that's cool! Did he really? He's a legendary musician, also. Oh my he, he was in the Royal Jesters and the Latin Breed. Like, <laughs> he's like. You're, it's the, weird because you you're like not just a musician. Like your family, it's like iconic. These yeah, guys, it's, it's well, like a different level. Anyone could be a musician, but you guys are like actually making a difference. Well, thank you for saying that. Oh, I mean, it's awesome. a, it's just so so great to be part of the family on like both sides. Yeah, my father's sure. and my mom's, my mom's side. Uh, and I love your mom. And I love your mom. So I stand on the shoulders of some, you know, they've they've paved the way for me. So I feel so fortunate for that. And yeah. we're for, we're so fortunate to have you uh, oh, yeah. to have you here, and and also to have you as obviously just to share your talent Thank with you. the rest of you know San Antonio and everyone else. Of course, you got an opportunity back in 2020 to do your first um your very first studio recorded yes. album yeah. oh and you have it my here first, let me see yes. it. Let's, my let me, first solo let me show album. it to folks on on tiktok Look. yeah do you know what's crazy about that's that my the, solo album the quality of that album is 
bar none. Thank you. Like, you guys can find it on Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. What else? Everywhere. Amazon I mean, Music. Amazon. Apple, Apple. Apple Music. Okay. Yeah. It's through my website too. You can get an actual, I love it. I love actual it. one of these. But um. Okay, we yeah, put on. Yeah, 2020, which was a difficult year to release music because then performances. Yeah. Yeah. Of COVID. It, you know, I intended to support the album and do some touring and stuff like that, and it was just not in the cards, obviously. Yeah. But I'm still grateful for the album and. And can we play a little song from there from your album? Absolutely. I, I want to just let so so folks can hear this. So this is Michelle. Hopefully it's not gonna be a commercial here. Oh, there's not. Ooh, this is one of my favorite songs from. We were Michelle. listening to it in the car the other day. Too. We were listening to it also in in our open house that we had. Oh the other yeah, day. we did. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah. That's my original. The yes, OG I love version. The original. I like the OG version. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Oh, I remember yeah. when I first heard this, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Especially the saxophone that came in right. I was like. Oh, I love this. And then, uh. You can call on me. Ooh. Oh, that's a love it. I got the chills right now. Oh, Albert. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So this was such a great song. And you know what I loved about it is that, and I think I told this to you when it first came out, you could take these lyrics, really, and they could be they could be interpreted so many different yes. ways because you could be calling on God. Amen. You yes. could be telling a friend you can call on me. Yes. So there were so many ways that you could take these lyrics and it, it could relate to just about anybody. That was the so, that was the <laughs> That was the You're like what? Albert, that was the point. That was our, <laughs> you, that I'm was our mission, you, <laughs> you know. The, I'm glad you joined the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you, I'm late to the bus. <laughs> Where's your helmet? <laughs> well, I'm like, <laughs> Terrible. But I'm glad you picked up on that because yeah, you want music to, I mean, we all hear music differently because of how we feel, how it makes us feel. Yes. We all have a different vibe with it. Yes, yes. And so that it could be either way. It could be romantic. It could be spiritual. It could be friends, you know. And I love it. So thank you. You've been so supportive, Albert. I know. You've been I've been. So, you've been like so supportive. I first met before the album. I like, know. <laughs> way, way before. I met. I met you back, and I think it was in the year. I think it was two thousand. Uh, the year 2000, we were we went to go work an event at the um, at the botanical, botanical gardens, gardens yes. and she was there singing with her band. Oh wow! Which obviously the band uh, is Planet Soul. Planet Soul <laughs> at the time, and of course your husband Pat Carey, who we love, yes, uh, is is the is the bass yes. uh, player for that for the band. But um, she was singing it, and I just remember being like. Oh my God, this is amazing! <laughs> awesome. So I was just like, from that point on, I was hooked. And then I went to go try to figure out where y'all were at all the time, oh, so that wait. I could show up to the gigs just yes. to hear. Because she was playing, you know, my playlist. Well, I, if you really loved her, you would do a TikTok with her song. Oh, he just oh, put me on the. Spot. He will. He knows him. He I've knows had, the words. <laughs> So wait a minute. But, <laughs> you should. No, you should do a but song. But we had. I did do a song. Remember your "You Can Fly." Yes. Open your eyes. You can fly. Open your, and I lip sync to that. Yes, you I? did. He deleted you did. it though. He no way. <laughs> you Mira, liar. I Albert. Really? I know. I Albert. No, I did why? not. <laughs> I didn't delete it. I promise you. Gavin, I promise you. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. I didn't. I didn't delete it. But yes. So <laughs> I'm just so excited that you're here, and we've oh. got to we've got to talk about what we brought here. Yeah. So. We, we wanted to yeah. celebrate you being here. So I went all the way down San Pedro, like and I went down San Pedro, <laughs> San Pedro <laughs> and got some French oh, fish fries. Got me some French fish, fish fries. Fry. <laughs> <laughs> So like I, got, I said, a Lenten special. Oh, it's it's we'll in her, time for Lent. <laughs> we'll put it over here. <laughs> oh, can you? Um, can this is amazing. I want a piece. I want a piece right now. Yeah, I'm Are you gonna bring it out over here. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Wow. If you haven't had Fred's fish fry, so get this. <laughs> iconic. It's very iconic. It's very San Antonio. Um, Puro San Antonio. I was reading up. <laughs> do you know who owns uh, Fred's fish fry? Uh, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> is it Fred? <laughs> Wilma. No. <laughs> no. Bam Bam. No, I'm sorry. Bam Bam. Oh, Fre my gosh. It's what square? Is it? It's square. It's square. No, it's... It's hip to be square. No, it's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Oh, you're right. My oh, bad. Oh, show it to the folks at TikTok. Take a look Does at this, this fish. Does this look appetizing? That, yeah, that looks good. They'll like it. Okay. It smells We're good. The, whoever, uh, <laughs> whoever, um, whoever puts something in our chat like says that they love, uh, they French, love French us. Fries. We'll, we're going to mail you. Yeah, we'll mail we're going to mail you your very, own, your very own Fred's. 
You can put fine. it in an envelope. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, but I think the, I think the <laughs> CIA will stay, find it. It'll taste oh, the yeah. exact same it's once it gets It's called anthrax. <laughs> Look, a sandwich. Oh, that's, I got the that's sandwich. That's VIP. Someone, yeah, I know. Someone's bougie here. I spent like $50 have, like, at <laughs> Fred's Fry. This is fry. amazing. I'm going to take a bite out of one. Right here. I want to take a bite. I don't. I don't think I've ever eaten there. Fridge, I've only fridge, made fry, fun of it. Can you say fridge, fridge, fry, French fries really fast? Oh, uh, French fries. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say it the first time. <laughs> Hold on. French fries. French fries. French fries. Fr- fr- <gasps> fr- fr- oh, you, you, you jinxed me. You're like, don't look at me. Don't, don't look, look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. French fries. French fries. Wait, wait. Is it like when you look in the mirror and you said French French fries like something? Fr- <laughs> fr- <laughs> and it comes and it attacks you. <laughs> <laughs> You, French, you know, fries, French fries, Bloody Mary. French, right. Yes, yes. French fries, French fries, French fries. Fr- 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 wait, French fries, French fries. Say it. Fred, <laughs> Fred. Wait, go, wait. Let me see the words. <laughs> French, you know the words. French fries, fry, fry. French fries, French. Me and a French, French. French, French fries, fry, French fry. There why, you go. Why am I saying it like that? French fries, fry, French fry. Oh. French, fr- <laughs> <laughs> Tongue twister. Red fish, so French fish, fry, French fries. I think it's the smell of the mm. fish. It is very. You know what it really is, though. It's happening. That's um. This is your sandwich. Oh, thank it's you. It's really yes, um. This is amazing. It really is just one big square fret. I mean, um, fish stick. It's really what it is. <laughs> it is a fish stick. It is a fish stick. Wait, this isn't a sandwich. Yeah. This is just. What is that? That's the sandwich. Yeah, this it's is a like sandwich. that looks. Because ter- that looks bread. like. And a thing There's in the something middle. that I could make. That looks like low-income sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, even their napkins have the... the oh, yeah. Wow. They really go <laughs> out. They is, go all out. I mean, this is... They are a, a serious about their branding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Their, their brand is spotless. I mean... Yeah, you look up mm, French fry? French fry. French fry. French fry. French fry. <laughs> I'm stuck in my mouth. <laughs> He's a French fry. <laughs> Bread's fish fry. Have you ever had it? But no, but I always look it up, and it's always on the news. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not on the news for anything bad though. <laughs> not at all. Just you know, I, la, every time I do, I will say like, this: every time I go in there, um, and it's been a long time since I've been to Fred's Fish Fry. Yeah. But um, when I have gone in there, it, mm-hmm. there was always flies in there for some reason. Fred's Fish Fry flies. <laughs> <laughs> they, they come with it. Yeah, there's fish always flies. flies inside the little lobby area. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fred's but, Fish Fly. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It tastes pretty good. Mm-hmm. What do you think? You haven't ever had it. It's stuck at the top of my mouth. Oh, that's good. That means it's good. That means I can save it for later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for Friday for Lent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're eating for Lent right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Okay. Who's the owner of Fred's Fish Fry, you ask? It's the Casta. Oh, my gosh. I can't <laughs> even say the it. The Cascarones. No, the, Casta- <laughs> the, the Castananos. No. How do you- Castaño? Oh, Castaños. There you go. The Castaño family who owns the chain. Uh, they refuse to name the company they work with to get that signature fish and shrimp batter, and they also refuse to work with anyone else. So this is their own, this is their own the mix. Same. So Fred's Fish Fry started with a single location located on the block of Roosevelt Avenue. Oh. And eventually they spawned that over 16 other locations. And they've never had anyone order their food. Because every time you drive past... 16 locations. Yeah, you drive past Fish Fry, no. there's never anyone there. But somehow... Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. They've been around for 50 years. Dude, Blockbuster couldn't even. <laughs> Blockbuster, Blockbuster couldn't even survive. But French fish. But French fry. Like a Twinkie. <laughs> That's so good, though. It's so good. It's good. Yeah. I like it. Tastes like middle school. Did you get I, French fries? Yeah, that's, that's okay. what this box is. Oh, oh let me have some French fries. This is a whole box of French, mm-hmm. French fish fries, French fries. Mm-hmm. I'm convinced that Albert likes doing this podcast just for the food. <gasps> this is a big old order of French fries. <laughs> Why do you I get got, so many? I, I got the family it's family, size. French fish fry, family French fries. Hey, I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> I, I'll tell you this. <laughs> They don't skimp on the French fries. Look at this. This is yeah. a lot of fr- yeah. She really like, this liked is me. like. Hold on. Don't put your whole hand in it. That was terrible. Right. That was bad. Hold we on. don't have any utensils. I know we don't. Um, this is at least <laughs> like three pounds of French fries in this thing. That's awesome. I want to dump them with hot sauce, ketchup, pepper. That's disgusting. That's yes. so good. Oh. Right. What do you put in your French fries? Do you do you eat them with just ketchup or you put a lot of stuff in them? You know, you can have ketchup. You can have some. Cholula. Are you talking with your mouth full? 
<laughs> Why would you I ask just, that question? <laughs> You've been talking with your mouth full the whole time. You could do Cholula. I love Cholula on my French fries. I do yeah. that. At, I do that at Sea at Sea Island. Yes. Or even the green Tabasco. <gasps> I love the green the Tabasco. The green one. Better Name than something that. you don't like. <laughs> Quick. I'm trying to think here. <laughs> if you see my panza, you know that there's a lot of things I don't. You can also do like cocktail sauce that would be on shrimp. You could dip your fries. Uh, I had a I friend like that would put their sauce. fries in tartar sauce. <gasps> I love the shrimp. I love and that's that. a vibe too. That's a vibe. It is a vibe. Mm-hmm. Davin just uses ketchup. Yeah. All plain. <laughs> All plain. <laughs> not willing to try anything. Yeah, because I'm not losing my taste buds like you are. But is it ketchup or is it catsup? What? It's how come sometimes it's, it's spelled like it's cats? Catch. Catsup catch and ketchup. Ketchup. I love it. Okay. Do right. y'all want any French fries? I'm done after you touch them. Oh my God. Aww. He, he did this. That's real sad. Like a little, like a crane. Albert's just. I just, but my hands are clean. He's a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, as you're holding the fish with your hands. My we nails, don't have any Well, my nails clothes. do have dirt in them. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. That, that wasn't there before. <laughs> Were you working in the garden? <laughs> <laughs> it's garden. No, I was scratching my arm. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, we got to go to a commercial break. Oh, yes. But when we come back, we're going to talk because. Yeah. I the, the French French fries is going, okay. is going down real hard. You needed beverage. Oh yeah, did you, you bring some... anything to drink, Davin? No. Jeez. There's a what kind there's of... a can of something back there. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't is drink. That... No, you can't drink this that. This is contact adhesive. It's gonna make it worse. <laughs> yeah, don't drink that. WD no. forty. <laughs> We're drink gonna come that. back because we uh, when we come back from the break, we want to talk about American Idol. Yeah, they almost finished. They're, they're done with the auditions, but we want to talk about this last edition. It was really good. So stick around. We'll be right back. Rufix Solar Energy. At Rufix Solar Energy, they have solved the problem with ugly ass solar. That's right. Their partnership with JAF Energy provides an exclusive solar system that installs like a skylight, Woo. producing a beautiful roof that will start saving you money from day one. Eliminate your energy bill and get a 30% tax credit, no out of pocket expense, and they offer you a lifetime warranty. All right. So if you're looking to go solar and reduce your carbon footprint, call Rufix Solar Energy today at 210-454-2400 or go to their website at rufixsa.com. Oh, yeah. All right, welcome back to the For Real For Though, Real Though Podcast. Podcast with your host, Albert Cantu. And Davin Keeley. Oh, yeah. This this French fish fry was amazing. I, yeah. ate, I ate the whole square. I yeah. think. Did I, you eat? Did you eat a little bit I of it? I ate a square. Oh, you ate a square? I, I and the French fries are good, too. I just want the hot sauce on them, but... Thanks, thank you, thank you, Fred's Fish Fry. Even <laughs> though we kind of like made fun, but it's it was good though. It, was, it actually was pretty. And good. Davin, you've never had it before. So. I've never had it before. I've no. only heard the the tales. <laughs> well, he liked it, so that's all that matters. Okay, so we want to talk American Idol. This is American, American Idol. Idol. American no, Idol. that's not how he does it. He does it like this. Who's he? Ryan, Ryan Seacrest. Seacrest. He does not sound like that. Yes, he does. What? He sounds like this. No, he doesn't. <laughs> this is American Idol. Exactly. See, that's how. Exactly. Now you wow, do it. I saw the hair and everything. No, you hair. do it. This is American Idol. No, that's Brian Dunkelberg, the one, the first one that was on the, show, the first <laughs> host way back in the first aired. I never. I don't. Is I, Brian Dunkelberg American was, Idol? Like it's real. Like <clears throat> <clears throat> you do it. You, this you, is you, American Idol. No, you do it. This Mr. is American Idol. Oh. Like no, but you you have it down. No, you got to do it with the radio voice. Go. Oh. This is American Idol. Oh, oh that was that, a little too sexy. Well, that was oh, sorry. Way... Wow, I like is, American Idol is, now. For real though, podcast after hours. Is... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> for real though. <laughs> Damn. After... I, always, I always say that if you want to sound good, you got to try to sound naked. Like after try to sound hours. naked. No wonder I like you. No. <laughs> you got to like For real though. Look watch if I say look watch. For real though. Podcast. Now if I say it like that, but then if I want to sound naked, I say it like this. The For Real Though Podcast. That's that? naked. The I'm naked right there. Naked. I was naked. 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 <laughs> that was naked. Uh, you do naked. Up naked. You, you, okay, you do regular and then do naked. Okay. What? Do the regular, regular. and then do oh, naked. Oh, uh, For Real Though Podcast. Okay, now I'll be naked. 
For Real Though podcast. Dang. Oh, you'd have Next. no underwear on in that one. Okay. You saw. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. <laughs> For real though. For real. Okay, though. all right, we, we digress. Okay, here we go. So uh, American Idol just finished up their last set of auditions. Yeah. I'm a big watcher, Michelle. I know you watch it religiously. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Davin <laughs> just makes fun of us. Yeah, I, so, I watch the clips when they come up. Okay, so That's let me good. play this because Oliver Steele is a gentleman that came on. He was one of the last ones Great to audition. Name. Oliver Steele, right? He's already got an, a Hollywood name yeah. as far as I'm concerned. But he came on. His dad suffered a major stroke, but his dad's also a musician, and his dad did most of the singing. But now, of course, the tables have turned, yeah. and so he told the son to audition, and the son is auditioning. Yeah. So I'm going to just play a small clip from, from the show, and, you, and then we'll talk a little bit about that. So listen conversation and I was just really sad and he said you know dad you don't have to worry about singing because I'll just do it all for you I thought okay that'll work <laughs> if I can reach the stars great song mm, I love it pull one down for you how's he sound yes. how does he sound I loved it I loved him Shine it on my heart I like when he really goes up to the upper yes, register. All the right. The dad's crying. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got chills. Dude. Look at Lionel Richie. Can't believe it. But for now, I find. Yeah. It's only in my dreams. Here we go. See? I would be the sun I did her universe. You gotta be in the audience every you time. My love was really See, Katy Perry's crying. Good, oh. darling, if I could hey, I got goosebumps there. Yeah. That was so good. So I. So, so I love it, right? So I yes. was at home, and this is what's happening with me, right? I'm sitting on the couch. Without your family there, because they don't want to watch Nobody it. wants to watch yeah, this with I me. I always have to watch these shows by myself. The moment I turn on any kind of award show, any kind of talent show, boom, they're all gone. They leave, the, they leave me alone. So nobody wants to watch it, right? So I'm sitting there, and I'm like... I'm like trying to hide my tears because I was crying. And, yes, it and was when, firing. Yeah, it was good. Yes. And then, you know, I always look around and make sure that nobody walks out because my family <laughs> would make fun of me if they saw me crying to American mm. Idol because it's real. Yeah. Right, Davin? It's real. Just you say know, it is. So, it, but the tears are real, and that's what matters. <laughs> because it, <laughs> Albert's tears? No, because it. You were inspi- inspired you. Yeah. And all, I, all of America who is watching it, they felt that too. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're watching the show. The effect is real. You the know what I'm saying? The effect is real. But mm-hmm. Davin, <laughs> Davin wants to, he's gonna. He's getting ready to burst y'all's bubble right now. Yeah, I, I just don't like how it's always like the, in these auditions, it's just an emotional roller coaster rather than like focusing on the talent. But the, it did focus on the talent. I know, but he was singing to his dad in an audition room. Okay. It, it just feels weird. It's like, you should be auditioning, not... But he is but auditioning. That's literally like, I don't and know. And they asked him to bring the daddy in, but I think, you know, that was added to the they, drama, you they know, wanted the emotion. To, they're adding to the drama, and it, and I want to see, like, good musicians be good. I don't want to... Their story's great, right? Oh, uh, maybe I'm just now getting what you're saying now. Like, I want them to audition, and I, I want I, I want the music to speak for itself. Oh, okay. I don't want to see. be, like, down my throat, like, let, yeah. let's look at his childhood pictures and all of that stuff. They always do that. But here's the problem. They do it with everyone. Everybody has a problem. Because they want to get you to... Call and or text in a vote. They, they, they want you to does. support. He does. That's what I do. They want to make you win. I get emotionally you know. involved. And he yeah. pays their they, Indiegogo and their uh, <laughs> their their PayPal. He's like send him. I'm gonna dollars. send them hey. our last hundred dollars. <laughs> Crowdfund- That's why crowdfunding is so important nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Because it's about the story. Because it's about the story and not. So that would make. That's what made you emotional. It wasn't the music? No, it was the music. No, it was the singing. It was his singing too. And then I. And the the and, and then he's watching crying. the dad and, and he's crying. Would you have cried crying. if he just sang that song? No, no, I wouldn't. Have. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Well, it's, it adds that little flavor when I'm like, uh, it, I don't know. So you're annoyed with the fact that they're trying to make. I'm it... annoyed that every contestant has this story. Dad died. 
Ooh. You know, or what's something. his name died from a couple of seasons oh. ago. Willie Spence. No, he died last year. He, he died, died last year. He died this year. A contestant. He was, he was a contestant he was, he, from two years ago, I think. No, or last one, year. From, from Willie last, Spence from last episode, from last season. Yeah, he had yeah, a. He, he, died he died in a, in a car, car accident. accident. I know it was terrible. And it's like he was, a and good. and that's a thing though throughout. You know, Buddy Holly, Patsy Cline. Oh, there's yeah. you know Stevie Ray Vaughan. There's a lot of these tragedies. And they have a story, you know. See, Loretta Lynn, who the legend, who just they all have a story. But died, I just feel the died way- last year. You know, you hear her legendary story, coal miner's daughter. Now, here's the thing: I would be real skeptical if somebody came and said, "Hey, I died in a car crash last year." <laughs> At, but American I'm back. Idol tried. You know, they're, they're <laughs> but trying I'm to back get that now, and people. I'm thinking. Then I can say, okay, this has been a little, this is a little bit a of little a over, yeah. Over it's a little stretch. Yeah. This I like because they did bring the dad in, but I get what you're saying now, Davin, yeah. because. It really is. A, it is an audition, but at the same time, they're also trying to make good TV. Yeah, it's TV, yeah. So, so, so that's when I'm like, okay, I get it, but it's every episode. So you something. can't get past the idea that they're doing. It's an emotional I can get past roller coaster. It. I can see past it. I can be like, okay, no, you I just appreciate. You yes, just, I can. No, you're just because I you're can in the thick of it. I you know, can appreciate the story. Do you watch The Voice? Yes, I watched The Voice, and so watched the voice last night. I watched it last night too, and all the time when the contestants on. <laughs> Their family is on the side with yes, Carson Daly. Yes. And you kind of sometimes I get vaclimped or teary when I watch the parents or the family. Yeah, like, watching their kids shine excited. in that moment. Yeah. yeah. And it, you know, if it was just someone up there singing without the family aspect or their story, it would it would lose its. Yeah, it loses its glimmer. Yeah. So it's weird. I when, when like growing up and watching American Idol, it was always weird to me when it was like. They would always go back and show like pre-made film of like mm-hmm. at, in their hometown or something like that. And I'm like, this person's going through. Why wouldn't they go through? They they wasted all that time going to their hometown and showing them. Well, there's those ones that get into the contest because they send a video. I know. Rather than standing in line. Yeah, but not with those types through. of cameras. That's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> right. Just... All that. Yeah. Well, thank you, <laughs> yeah, Gavin. We're, we're ruining his dreams. Thank you, so Gavin, no, I, for killing... I, no, but I felt the, the tears. I, uh, I, I watched cried. it today because you, you told me about alligator it. Alligator tears. And I, I was uh, a <laughs> no, I was at a you know I was at a town Sunday. Yeah, so I was celebrating my birthday over the weekend. Oh, it was and, your birthday? Yes, yeah, Saturday was my birthday. Oh, happy 41. birthday! We're at the oh, sing happy birthday, soul, turn a bit. Bless bit. <laughs> We're sing happy birthday. Bless your soul. Bless your soul. We're gonna sing happy birthday. Turn. And so I didn't watch it Sunday, but I watched that clip today. Because uh, I remember I texted you, you told and I said, me. "Hey, I said, you, are you watching American Idol?" Because I, you're no, the first person I thought of. We do. Thought, we we text when I it's thought, on because we watch watching. I thought for sure that you were watching, and I thought, man, she's probably crying too. And then she says, "Oh no, I missed it." Oh, oh. Well, I was like, I couldn't get good reception where we okay. were, but all right. But it was very inspiring, and it it resonated with me because of the that his dad was a musician. Yeah, it's the yeah. legacy, the how it. Uh, all right, well, so yeah, I, you're gonna make him cry. Again. I'm gonna cry right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was dead, and and then that he didn't cry while he was singing. Like I would have, I would have like. It's hard. If my dad was sitting there, right? I would have, I would have lost it up. I couldn't have sang through it. And you know what? Maybe, maybe it's not fake. You're just saying that just no, to shut me up. No, it's a little bit, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, tune into the <laughs> tune into the American Idol show. It's on every Sunday on ABC. Do you KSA believe 12. in American Idol? <laughs> No, no. So next week, next week. You gotta believe. Next week is Hollywood Week. I always tune into Hollywood because it gets really intense for Hollywood Week. The auditions are like the best part, though. The auditions are the best, but they're over already now, Davin. So let's move on. The the Hollywood Week. Let's move on to the voice. Oh, (laughs) I like the voice too. All right, we're gonna close this down. Great shows. Okay, so we because Michelle, you are our American Idol here in San Antonio. We want to. We want to see if we could um, have you sing for us. I we, see a guitar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't play the guitar, but no, uh, okay, thank you don't. God. You don't. But wait, should we take another commercial break and then come right back? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to take an, well, another short commercial break. All right. But then when we come back, we're going to get some real vocal chops going on. Okay. Here. here we go. 
the, the window, window source of San Antonio. Do you have single pane windows? Is your home dusty? Are you tired of spending too much money on energy costs? Does your home windows have broken seals? Can you hear a lot of the sound pollution from outside? Then guess what? It's, it's time, time to, to get, get new windows. windows. At the window source of San Antonio, they offer the best replacement windows on the market today and a simple payment plan that makes it easy for you to get the windows you need without breaking the bank. It's simple. Just fill out the form on their website and they'll schedule a free non-obligation estimate. Decide on the windows you want and then get them installed. Plus, take advantage of the Window Source of San Antonio super deal. Zero down, no payments until 2024. That's right. Install now, pay later. So if you're ready to update your home with energy efficient replacement windows, call the Window Source of San Antonio today at 210-742-4867 or go to windowsourceofsa.com. What you did was perfect. I don't know. All Whatever you did right. was <laughs> Welcome back to the For Real Though Podcast with your host, Albert Cantu. And Devin Keeley. Sorry, Ooh. I have my guitar right now. I know. You got your guitar down on the on the deal. Devin. So, Oy. so uh, we <laughs> we want we wanted to showcase our own San Antonio American Idol, and that is, of course, Ms. Michelle Garabay Carey, who uh, we just threw, <laughs> just threw a song in front of you. <laughs> And she was like, what song is this? And then she looked at it and she read the lyrics. She goes, oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, she threw, <laughs> she, she threw away the lyrics. <laughs> she threw away. She goes, oh, like, I got my, I got to do my own version. I was like, yeah. yay. Okay, so so we're, we're just going to cut to this. So this. You guys will, will know this song if you're listening. And just just listen to this, the buttery sounds of <laughs> Michelle got a bike, Carrie. Hit it.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was so good. Hey. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, it was so much fun. Oh, that was god. really good. That was Great amazing. Play. Great play. Gavin. Yeah, oh, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Jamming like, yeah. on the guitar. I, I just, I just learned that. Beautiful. Oh, he just learned it Boom. right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I was reading it. So. That was so good. Very, very good. Oh. You're so good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I hey, was man. crying. I was crying. Hey, but you know what I realized? Thank you for this that was moment. A, that was a moment. That was a moment. You know, when I first heard your voice, I was like, because I'm in love with I mean, Anita Baker. Yes. Um, and so I heard your voice and I was like, who is this? Because I'm I'm very critical of singers sure. because I go to karaoke all the yeah. time and there's always oh, okay. those like girls that go up there and they're like this is for fun this isn't like your time to shine right and right. I'm so used to hearing that in choir and stuff like that when yeah. I heard your voice I was like this is like so high quality but oh. you remind me of Anita Baker thank you so that's She's why one of my greatest influences yeah that's like, why I yeah, wanted to do this song oh no, thank you for yeah. picking that one because okay. I mean, and he picked it. I did. I didn't have, nothing, I didn't have nothing to do with that. But he, he played great. He obviously listened to you. Perfect song. <laughs> and this is and when amazing. I go to karaoke, I don't do like perform. I do stuff like I never would sing. See, that's the point. It's like, it, it's about having fun. fun. It's not like about, I'll do like, Dolly Parton's Nine to Five. Yeah, working Which, Nine to Five. Don't let a bed in the stomach of the kitchen. Ooh, my see, that's a little... you're on a stretch and try to come to life. Ooh. You try to can sound we like that her. one. No, <laughs> can you play? You can play. Working Nine to Five. No, we'll be here all night. We're gonna be here till five but in you know, the morning. <laughs> but you know, you you pick a song that you don't normally sing. Right, exactly. And you I'm that's most, the whole fun of it. Sometimes right? I try to sound like the artist too. You know, I was trying. To do my looking like not to five, like that's not really no, that's that's you, you can't even help it, you're just soulful, it doesn't even matter because, like, you're trying to, you're trying, trying to, to sound like Dolly, you sound, <laughs> you sound soulful. Thank you, but I, when, when or, I, but, oh, you know, what you could do at karaoke is just do everything in a Michael McDonald voice. See, that, <gasps> see, uh, you just totally do, get it. Do Michael McDonald, she like, totally do fun, it. do funny, like, yeah, do funny and like, don't ruin the mood. I, we'll always love you. Ooh, I, I do a good Michael McDonald. We'll too. always love you, baby. <laughs> you know, you, you just, sound just <laughs> like just do my just do yeah. What? Do it. Yes, yes. I was thinking. Yes, I do it again. Do it. Wait, what's a, what's a song that you like to listen? I keep by? forgetting. Yeah. I keep forgetting. I don't love anymore. Exactly. Just I can, see. I like that karaoke. There's will never be the same again. I just do it. Wow, I loved your face this in that <laughs> too. You, she committed. <laughs> She's, she's I was like imagining she, like she's a mustache, professional. Like, <laughs> she's like a Michael. TikTok star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a TikTok star without a TikTok. Or TikTok. I TikTok. I said TikTok. She's a TikTok. <laughs> so, oh no, you have TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah. I need yes. a TikTok Tic- right now. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Speaking of French fish fry. <laughs> I know. I sang that with French fish fry yeah, like, right that's here. Really it's like right good. here. You know, most of in my heart. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god! Most singers would not stuff. Y'all are never gonna call me back for the show. Oh, we no, we will. We're, oh my god! <laughs> like, you're always silly. you're always invited to the show. Thank you. That was so much fun. That but was karaoke a lot of should fun. be fun. I agree with you. It yeah. shouldn't be like a career move. It should be fun. <laughs> exactly. That's a right, perfect. Preach, right? Yeah, yeah. I want I want to have fun when I go to karaoke. I don't want to be preached. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I want be, before we go because we're 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 getting ready to end the show here. But I have to say this. Let me have your your album because I want to tell oh, people who, if, where they can find it. And yes, thank you. So this is M- M- Michelle Gotta Buy. This it's the title of the album is called Love Dance, and that's got a lot of great songs on here. Thank Obviously, you. my favorite on here is Call on Me. Thank you. That's original. just one of my favorite. Yeah, original and my one and uh, one and only one love. love. That's another one that can be basically spun around in all that's kinds right. of ways. Yes. Um, and then I love 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 um, uh, the very last song. If it's you. Oh, that groove on that. Yeah, that one. And there was another one on here that I really like here also. Um, and you also do. They gave it like a reggaeton kind of vibe. Yeah, on that they, they kind of did on this one. Thing. Uh, uh, the other one. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Never would have made it. That oh. one is the. That one obviously is. It's a gospel tune. It's a gospel tune. Uh, and you know, you took this one to a whole another. What level. What made you Thank want to do you. variety? Because a lot of people like do like a whole theme and it's kind of the same groove. But oh, you every, mean like on the album? Yeah, every yeah. song has a different vibe. But you're the consistent part of right. all of it. I just, I, 
that's the original songs. That's you know the producers and worked with our music and my my husband and I ha- had already written them and yeah. oh, and so great. you know you kind of had a little some slow some groove stuff some jazzy some stuff jazzy some stuff, Latin yeah. stuff yeah um, it's a little bit of everything and so yeah really you wanted is. you wanted to to kind of appeal to more audiences like like you know, oh I like this one or I like that one what you know? what do you think we can expect for the next album <gasps> well this next album I'm working on is not a solo project so I'm working with um, a okay. drummer named Jerry Gibbs he's okay. a Grammy nominated drummer oh nice are you performing and, with them soon yes next. Actually, next Thursday night we'll be at Jazz Texas at, in the Pearl. Oh, nice! I love Texas. that. Yeah, we should get, we should get a table. And so, <gasps> we should get a table. Yeah, you should show. come on and, and, and hear what we do. It's very unique kind of stuff, but we do jazz uh, versions of like Nirvana, oh, what? Stevie Wonder, um, stuff like that. So it's very interesting kind of music. It's a whole new flair. A whole new vibe. Yeah. And um, and Jerry's an amazing drummer. He's um, he came here from New York. He was living in New York for many years. He's yeah. actually from L.A., but during the pandemic, came down to Texas. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he had some friends and roots here. So, um, and he's been staying here and enjoyed working with the group. And so we're recording on a record label called Wailing City. Okay. And so it's a whole different jazz thing. It's not as much R and B as I've been doing all my life. Is doing soul and. But and I think your voice through. adds that though. Like uh, like See, Albert said, you it just you can't even help it. it yeah, I'm not trying. It's, it's just so, there. That's like, just it's just know, in your blood. There. I think the big thing is you're working with amazing musicians, Thank and you're you. and you're in a studio that like will take care of you, and you know the quality is going to be great. So all you need is just to bring your A game, and you know it's going to be good. Thank you. Yeah. That's very inspiring for me because tomorrow I have a session, and I'm yeah. kind of like you know you just want to get in the right headspace oh. and be ready to. You know, even, uh, even this through, didn't help. Even through spring, <laughs> well, I mean, even through oak season, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna record in oak season. Okay, you yeah. know, yeah, I get that. All the allergens that we're all dealing with. I, so I think, and then, and, and you know, it's funny though because you're such a you're such a professional, and you're you've been doing this so, for so long. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't think that you would get nervous, but you still do. Oh yeah, I mean, you know? I've, uh, I mean, Barbara Streisand has extreme stage fright. Yeah. Uh, I heard a story that Johnny Mathis, the legend, he's been mm-hmm. performing for sixty over sixty years. Right, still gets sick to his stomach before a show, and I just saw him last year at the Tobin, and he was amazing. Really, he's like, did he do that song? He's like I, in the eighties. I mean, he's he's eighty. He's, he's very yes. He's he's been doing it for decades, and he's, but it's almost like if you're not nervous, you don't care that much anymore. Yeah, yeah. you're just phoning it in. So if you're all in and you're just you know, ready to walk on the tightrope, if yeah. you will. There's going to be a little jitters there, a little nerves. You know? Yeah, always. Did he sing that song? I like that song with him and Denise Williams. Too much, too little. Yes. Do, do you remember that song? Yes. Too, too much, much, too, too little, little, too late, late to little. ever try again. Yes. Uh, that was a not, I was, That's the only song I know from Johnny Mathis. That's all I know. Well, all right, that so, was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you got to go find Michelle. You're on every platform, Spotify, Apple Music. Amazon, so they can find it. So, Love Dance by Michelle, um, and this is a great album. Then, Thank you. You, you tell them again where you're going to be at this weekend. Um, well, this weekend I'll be at uh, with my uncle and his band at the Square One Dance Club. It's on Loop 410 Access Road by before you get to Fredericksburg Road. But next Thursday night, which is April the sixth, okay. I believe, I'll be at Jazz Texas. Sweet, All right. in the Jazz Pearl Texas. with Jerry Gibbs and Thrasher people. <laughs> and of course, yeah, that's that's her, not slasher. Yeah, not thrasher. <laughs> Thrash. Thrasher. 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 People is the name of his band. What we'll do as well in our description. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the, your album there so people can oh, purchase great. it. Oh yeah, great! Yeah, so and my website is singitmichelle.com. Okay, singitmichelle.com. Sponsored by. Ooh, <laughs> sponsored by what? Singitmichelle.com. Oh yeah, singitmichelle.com. Sing <laughs> All right, we've come to the end of our show. Oh, this wow, is so great! Can you believe it? Oh, oh, it is that one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle, for being here. Yeah. You're welcome. And thank, thank you, Davin, for me. just being super awesome. And we'll see you. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>